This is an example showing how to make a time series graph using R. Um, as always with all graphs, we need to figure out how to get some data in there first. So I need to have an example. The example I'm going to do is looking at the weight of a dieter over the months. So this will be time series because time is always based on months. So, or time, I should say. Time series always has time on the horizontal axis. So the first thing I do is type in the data. I'm going to go ahead and call the first variable month. Um, and then I can just type in that the first month was 0, 2, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And again, close the parentheses and hit return. Um, and then I'll call the second one weight. And let's see, the person started out at 200, went down to 195, 192, 193, 190, and 187. Again, close the parentheses. So we now have the data into R, and all we have to do is actually do the plot. And we're going to do a plot of month and then weight. Again, I'm going to just go ahead and hit enter and see what kind of graph I get. And as you can see, when I do that, I actually get a scatter plot. Um, there's a couple of things about the scatter plot I want to point out. It did put month down here, but I probably actually want to call that time. And it did put weight up here, but I want to actually put in the the units, and there's no title. But the other thing is that the vertical axis doesn't start at zero. So I'm going to go and change my plot a little bit to incorporate all that information I want to do. So I'm going to redo the plot, month, and weight. But now I'm going to call the title. So remember main is title. And I'm going to go ahead and call this month um, since diet versus diet started versus weight. Oops, sorry, can't spell today. And then I'm going to do um, an X label. So remember that's X lab. And I'll call that time. And then that, that's in month. Remember to close the, the uh, quotes. And then I'll do a Y um, lab for Y label. And I'll call that weight, and that's in pounds. Close that quote. And then um, I want to do a y limb, that's the y limits. And I'm going to start it at 0. And I'll probably go up to 210, because I remember my highest data value was 200. So if I go to 210, I should be able to catch them all. And now let's see what that graph looks like. Again, since I didn't close the graph before, it's back there in another window. So just go find that other window. And there it is. And that looks a little bit better. You can see a general trend down, but it doesn't look as dramatic as it did before. So that's much better. But one of the things I also notice is that um, in a time series graph, these dots should be connected. So do not close this window because we want to use this plot, but we want to go back to the R console, the R command window. And now you're going to type in lines, month, comma, wait. And what this will do is that it will connect the dots for us. So now if we go back to that graph window, you can now see the dots are now connected. You only want to connect dots in a time series graph because it does make sense to go to one point to the next. And now you can copy this by going under edit and say copy figure or just copy and then paste it into Word or whatever word processing you're using. And that's it.